Um, Jim Hall is one of my favorite, favorite guitar players. And then I met him and he became one of my favorite people. You know, we had some stuff in common on a personal level. We were both kind of crazy back in the day and imbibing a little bit too much with different things. I imbibed with everything. And so we both were sober, so sometimes we would go to places where you can cool that stuff out, you know, meetings and stuff. Um, and, and, and it was just wonderful to play with him. I played on one of his records called Dialogues. And uh, I remember that the engineer was, was, did the best he could, but I didn't know what to tell the engineer. And we did the record, and Jim said it sounds great, and I didn't like my sound, so I called him after the record. I called him like 50 times and said, we gotta do it again, we gotta do it again. Anyway, I heard it, actually, the, the two tracks that I'm on. One was called Stern Stuff. He wrote it for me, and one was uh, a record, uh, a tune which I really like called uh, Uncle Ed. It was for his, uh, his uncle, he said, was always drunk and so he was always falling down the stairs. So we did this without a bass player. It was uh, just the drums and it had a good vibe like that. And um, uh, so, you know, I got a chance to play with him and, and, uh, and, and to meet him and, and know him. And, and hear him over the years. I was, I was such a fan. He was an amazingly soulful, beautiful person and an incredible, incredible guitar player. And then, of course, playing with Miles was another real amazing uh, 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 opportunity for me. And, uh, and it was kind of good. I was really crazy in those days, and he was too, so we got along perfectly. So, uh, for a while, and then, uh, and, and I ended up doing the gig for about three years at first. And, uh, and then I did it again for another year. I left and I played with Jaco Pastorius and some, some other people, Dave Sanborn, and, and, uh, and then I ended up playing with Miles again for another close to a year. And it was a treat. And the second time I, I went to his house in Malibu, he was real proud that I had gotten sober because that's why I didn't do the gig in the first place, I, I, for longer. I, I, Schofield came in and we, John Schofield and I played together, which was great. But then Miles said, I gotta let you go because you're getting too crazy. And he was trying to kind of more or less get sober at that time, so, and I wasn't helping. <laughs> so so, uh, so then I kind of cooled out and, and he knew about that, so he called me up and he asked me again to play in the band, which was wonderful and I was at his house in Malibu and we were hanging out he was really sweet and he was uh, and he he made dinner for me with lots of hot sauce and made dinner with chicken said, okay now and we ate and he said now I made you dinner now you gotta you gotta uh, uh, you gotta do the dishes so I said cool you know I was put him in the dishwasher and put some soap in and there's some, some, either I put too much soap in or, or something happened. The whole thing bubbled up like crazy. There was tons of soap all over the floor, you know, in the kitchen. I said, Miles, man, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do about the dishwasher? And he looked at me and said, Time. He was calling me Time. He used to call me Fat Time because I was heavy. And then when I lost weight, he called me Time. He said, so I said, man, what are we going to do with all this soap everywhere? The dishwasher broke. He said, Tom, ask me about a quarter, a scale or something. <laughs> he didn't want to know. He knew nothing about dishwasher. And then we just split. The place was bubbling up with all this soap. We just split. And we went to this place uh, where he had his horses. He had two horses. And it was so incongruous. I mean, here's this cat. He's got his... Um, uh, what was that kind of car that he drove, that real expensive, uh, you know, whatever. Um, it was a Lamborghini or a, or a whatchamacallit. It was a Lamborghini, I think it was. And, or Ferrari. It was a Ferrari. A black Ferrari. And we, and we, uh, and, and, and he's got his, like, pimp outfit. I mean, he's looking really slick. And, and he's driving up to this lady named Carol or something like that. And she's this little blonde 
young woman who was taking care of his horse. Says, Hi, Miles. You know, out in the middle of the country, you know. Here he is looking city slick, looking like Miami Vice, you know, or something, something out of that show. And, um, and so he, you know, we, we go there and he says, oh, my two horses. I said, wow. And he said, yeah, one's called all blue and the other's called kind of blue. <laughs> it was really beautiful. He could have been a comedian, Miles. <laughs> he really could. It was, it was a trip working with him. Hi, I'm Mike Stern. For more videos, go to jazztimes.com. Great, thank you very much.